Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will continue our online learning on the topic of bulk converter design. Okay, for designing a bulk converter, some consideration must be made. First, we need to assume that the circuit is using an ideal components. It means that the switches, the inductor as well as the capacitor is ideal. And next, the selection of switching frequency. Normally, the switching frequency is set larger than 20 kHz to avoid acoustic or audio noise and to reduce the size of the inductor and the capacitor. But there's always a trade in the switching frequency selection. If the switching frequency is high, the switching losses will also increase and this will in turn produce heat. Thus, the efficiency of the converter will be decreased and large heat sink may be required. And note that as switching device improves, the switching frequency will also increase. So, it is on designer's preference to select the switching frequency range depending on their application. And finally, we need to to consider the selection of inductor to ensure continuous current mode or CCM. Okay, so we can set L or inductor 10 times larger than the L mean. But to standardize, let L be 25% larger than the L mean. Okay, now let's try this uh, example. As we can see here, figure 1 shows a bulk converter design to produce an output voltage of 18 volt in a continuous current mode. So if the switching frequency is set to 40 kHz and if the output voltage ripple must not exceed 2%, specify first the duty ratio, the value of the inductor, the average value of the inductor current, the maximum and the minimum value of inductor current and the value of the capacitor. So, how can we solve this problem? Okay, to start with, we need to take out all the parameters that we have. So, here we have Vs equal to 45 volt, Vr equal to 18 volt, Switching frequency 40 kHz, resistor 15 ohm, and ripple factor of 2%. Okay, so to find the duty ratio, we know that the formula is given by V out over Vs. So 18 over 45 equal to 0.4. So our duty ratio is 0.4. Next, to determine the value of the inductor, we need to find the minimum inductor value first which is given by L mean equal to 1 minus D times R over 2 F. So, substituting all the parameters we have, 1 minus 0 0.4 times 15 over 2 times 40 kilohertz equal to 0 0.1125 milli henry. But then for a continuous current mode, let's set the inductor 25% larger, 25 larger than L mean. Actually, we can set 10 times larger but 25% is more than enough. So, L equal to L mean plus 25% of L mean. So, we will get 1.25 L mean. Okay, so 1.25 times 0.1125 milli henry we will get 0.14 milli henry so this is the value for the inductor for a continuous current mode 
Okay, next, to find the average value of D inductor current, we need to assume that the input power equal to output power. Thus, the average inductor current can be determined by IL equal to IR equal to VR over R. So, 18 over 15 equal to 1.2. M. So, this is the value for the inductor current. Okay, next, for the maximum and the minimum value of the inductor current, there are two ways that we can use to calculate the I max and I min. So, now let's consider the first uh, method. So, the first method is by using this formula. I max equal to I L plus delta I L over 2. And I mean equal to I L minus delta I L over 2. Thus, uh, using this formula, we need to find delta I L first, which is given by V S minus V L over L times D T. So, substituting the value, we will get So once we get delta I L, we can find the value of I max. So I max equal to I L plus delta I L over 2. But I L, we know that equal to 1.2 M plus 1.928 M equal to 2.164 M and for the I mean equal to 1.2 M minus 1.928 M equal to 0 0.263 M. Okay, so this is the first method. For next method, I max and I mean can be determined using this formula. So, If you compare this answer with the previous formula, the answer should be the same where I max equal to 2.164 amps and I mean equal to 0.236 amp. As you can see here, as the minimum inductor current is greater than 0, so our assumption and analysis before is valid where the inductor current is in continuous current mode. Okay, so next we can calculate delta IL. So we will get delta IL equal to 1.928 amps. Okay. Next, for the value of the capacitor, we know that R can be determined by 1 minus D over 8 LCF square. So rearrange them, we will get C equal to 1 minus D 
over 8 L R F square. So, So, capacitor is 16.74 microfarad. Okay, so that's it for the bulk converter design. I hope you can try by your own after this. And if you have any question or problem, you can ask me later. Okay, so thank you for listening and see you again.